In this feature tour, I'm going to show you the new features found in PowerStore 4. We've been working hard and listening to the feedback of our customers, and we've added a lot of features in this version to satisfy the needs of our customers, and if you're a developer, your clients. So here's what we've now branded as the PowerStore Store Manager. This is the ad admin backend for managing all of PowerStore and all the different features that are found in PowerStore. As you can see, we've reduced it to more of a grayscale look to make it more generic and hopefully more applicable to different projects that you're working on. One of the more notable changes is to the workflow for adding a new product. As you can see, we've changed this to a tabbed interface where you can first customize the details and the descriptions and any additional settings. We've also reduced the number of required fields to make it faster for you to add products to your catalog so that you can quickly populate the catalog and then maybe hand it off to somebody else who needs to add the images, populate the categories and the descriptions. So hopefully that'll speed up the process for getting PowerStore online for you. Now to one of the most important new features of PowerStore 4, digital goods. You can now browse to select a file that will be sold as that product and the file will be uploaded to any directory in your site that you've specified in the settings page. You can also browse a server if you've already uploaded that file to the tool location on your server. When selling digital goods, you'll have the option below to specify a max number of downloads in the event that you want to limit a certain number of downloads per purchase. Also on this additional settings tab is, an, is another new feature, the retail price. So if the retail price is higher than the price that you're selling the product for, it'll appear with a strike through it to let your customers know that they're getting a good deal. Now you'll notice as you navigate through the store manager that we've made some updates to various pages to improve the usability. For example, we added a view in store link so that it'll take you to, to view that product on the live site, it's making it easier for your client or for you to find the product that you've added to your catalog. Also new in PowerStore, we've upgraded the content management system to use features found in our content management solution, PowerCMS2. This includes template pages. By using template pages, we've given the ability for somebody to create new pages in the PowerStore site, as well as customize certain elements of the navigation and completely customize the, nav the footer navigation. We've enhanced the number of areas of the PowerStore homepage to make things function more dynamically. For, for example, the support link in the main navigation and the pages beneath it are controlled by the content management template that you'll see under custom menu. You or your client can add new pages here and they will appear directly underneath that menu. The same rule applies for the footer pages. Any, any pages added underneath the footer pages template will instantly be reflected on the PowerStore footer. For those looking for a news or a blog type element to their site, we've incorporated the content management templates to the news section of PowerStore. This section of the home page is now automatically generated based off of the content added in the CMS under the news template. You or your client can add a new article under the news template and it will instantly be listed here and they can click read more to see the full article. Also new to managing the content of your PowerStore 4 site, you can now create image galleries. So if you're familiar with Power Gallery, this includes much of the functionality you would find there. So once you've created your gallery, you can insert that gallery through any content area or even on the descriptions tab of the product insert page so that you can add the gallery anywhere on the site. Notice on the toolbar for the text editor there is now an insert photo gallery option. Select this option, choose the gallery you'd like to insert, select the design that you'd like to use, and choose between a light and a dark theme. And when inserted to your page, a placeholder graphic will represent your gallery and click update and now when you view that product detail page you'll see the gallery is inserted. So it's that easy to insert galleries to your products and your content areas of PowerStore. So back in the store manager let me show, a few, show you a few more changes that have been made to PowerStore 4. The settings page has been revamped for easier navigation but there have also been some new features added, including additional payment gateways, such as PayPal Standard. Simply enter the PayPal account information, and then take the IPN page URL found here, and insert it into your PayPal Standard account on the PayPal's website. Using PayPal Standard with PowerStore 4 is that easy. So now let me show you some of the design options for PowerStore 4. PowerStore 4 now comes with four different themes that you can choose from. Each theme has a different layout for the home page, as well as a few different elements on other pages that are arranged slightly differently. So you would choose the theme that best matches what you were looking for using the built-in design editor, which you can access by clicking Edit Theme. 
you can completely customize the color scheme that's being used by this PowerStore site. Using the slider, you can choose any color that you'd like, and the entire site's color scheme is updated. For more specific changes to the colors, you can choose the element that you'd like to customize from this section here, and then specify colors specifically from the co color pickers that are available. The live preview below gives you full access of your entire site so you can see the changes that you're making and how they've affected the design of your site. From the images section you can change the logo that's being used to add your own store's logo and also add change to a different background to give your site a completely different look and feel. You can also customize the fonts to use a different font style if you desire. And as you can see from the preview that is instantly updated on your entire site. Customizing your design to look and feel the way you would like is easy and kind of fun. Also, we've added a couple of additional layout options that you can choose from below. You can now select whether or not you want a grid or a list style for the catalog page. And also, we had, and also we've provided an option to easily switch between the simple registration form and the full registration form, depending on how much information you're trying to obtain from your customer as they register on your site. So that's a quick overview of most of the new features found in PowerStore 4. I hope you found this feature tour helpful. We have a lot of other videos to show you how these features work and how you can use them to your benefit. For more information on PowerStore 4 and our other pre-built solutions, check us out at websys.com. Thank you very much.